Hi everyone, I'm Jack from Garden Gate Magazine. One great way to save money on perennial plants is to start your own seed. We've had great success over the years using the milk jug method and we wanted to share it with you. You simply plant up your milk jug or water jug or any plastic jug with your favorite perennial seed and you set it outside. Mother Nature takes over from there and does the rest. And the great thing about this project is you don't have to fuss with seedlings and lighting setups indoors and you can get an earlier start than if you were planting seeds or plants directly in the ground outdoors. In fact, southern gardeners can start as early as January and northern gardeners as early as February. With such an early start, many perennials will bloom the first year from seed. It's all because of these little milk jug greenhouses. Here's how to do it. Take a clean milk jug and make a cut about four inches up from the bottom. Leave a couple inches uncut just below the handle to form a hinge. You'll need some holes for drainage, so use a hammer and screwdriver to pound six to ten holes through the bottom of the jug. A piece of scrap wood underneath will protect your work surface. Be sure to label each jug so you don't lose track of which seedlings you're growing later on. Next, you'll want to fill the jug with pre-moistened potting mix to within an inch of the rim. Check the label for seed depth. With this method, you plant the seeds more densely than the spacing requirements suggest. You'll have a chance to thin and transplant later on. Now it's time to tape the jug back together and get this mini greenhouse ready to go outside. Be sure to leave the cap off. If you don't, the greenhouse may get too hot. Find a spot outside where the containers will get light and rain or some snow, but steer clear of the north side of a building. There may not be enough light there. As the weather warms, you can flip back the lids of the jugs on nice days and close them at night. Once nighttime temperatures are above freezing, leave the tops off altogether. Keep an eye on the containers and make sure they don't dry out as temperatures warm up. Before you know it, the plants will be ready for transplanting. Hi, I'm Kristen with Garden Gate Magazine. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe to Garden Gate Magazine's YouTube channel. There you'll find tips, design ideas, and how-to help for gardeners just like you. Click the bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.